Godmorgen, 0. B. Godmorgen. Nu skal vi se, hvor mange der er kommet i dag. Uh, Isabella? Ja. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. Esther? The child is now the boy August. He attends his very first class, in Denmark known as Zero Class. He will now get to learn many new skills in a different way than previously. Thriving, playing and meeting new challenges are the keys to good learning. Modern and creative learning processes are based on how children play in kindergarten. This makes the transition to school a pleasant experience, if you know the rules. Okay. Jeg siger nogle forskellige ord. Hvis jeg nu for eksempel siger øh, ørn, begynder det med u, begynder det med ø, eller begynder ørn med æ. Den du tror det er, det skal du slå på det bogstav. Okay, er I klar? Godt. Jeg siger for eksempel øh, ørn. Ej, hvor I skrabe. Jeg plejer at sige, at... I always say that good teaching is much like playing. Playing is a vital part of learning how to become a human being. When children discover role-playing, or when adults go and dress up in all sorts of outfits and act like hobbits running around in the forest, these are learning processes. Mads Hermansen does research within pedagogy. His work in improving the quality of teaching is heavily utilized in schools and within the business sector. Mads Hermansen recently examined the significance of the teacher in generating good learning. Learning is about creating, or in my terminology, constructing your own understanding. A cohesive understanding that links things together. As it's just playing, it's free of obligations. And in that way, you get to the far corners of challenging yourself. When you've been through a process of realization through hard work, it often happens that you start experimenting or playing with your newfound insight. This is evident with children who acquire a new skill. When they have this new skill, they say, can this be used for something else? and then they start to play with it. We can help children embark on the process of wondering and connecting things that make them go, ah, this is connected to this, which is connected to that. That's how it works. Once you have this realization, you never forget it. The way in which people exist in the world is linked to our perpetual tendency to give meaning to just about anything. It is through the vital forces of learning that we manage to create correlation between things. This is a good argument in favor of the idea that 
The situations you encounter in front of your TV or in a computer game, together with someone else, are powerful learning processes. Even though it's obviously not real, you learn from it. Individuals are very different from each other. What challenges one doesn't necessarily challenge the next. If you want to challenge someone, you must know your students or your children well. And the challenge is to find the question that makes the child or the pupil choose to meet this challenge. Learning is a challenge. To encounter something new that doesn't fit the old requires that you, in a sense, go beyond yourself. This is why teaching must consist of both caring and challenging. The road to good learning not only goes via the chair in the classroom, but also via the gym floor. One of the best fuels for acquiring new realizations and a good memory comes from movement and physical energy. You learn much more than gymnastics from running around in a gym. Teachers are crucial to the learning process. They are processing. When you're dealing with pedagogy, management processes or formative processes, it's all about paying attention. You must pay strict attention to where this child, whether it is a big child, an overgrown child, or a child disguised as an adult, needs to be challenged so that it can embrace its very own challenge. That's the attentiveness. Control is that as a leader, a parent, a pedagogue, or a teacher, you make sure that when they slip up, and they will when they're challenged, you say, Let's try again.
If you want to be successful in school, the basics are the same as in kindergarten. You need to be noticed, challenged, and feel that you have the right to be there. Success depends on whether you manage to hold on to your sense of self-worth. Our surveys demonstrate that you achieve the best results with children who have a good self-image, a sense of self-worth, and a good school experience. If we want to make changes within the educational system, we should deal with the main issue first, which is that a lot of teaching starts out too abstract and ends up with something applicable at best. We need to turn that on its head. <laughs> If we construct the educational system that way, it would, to an increasing extent, appeal to those who regard education as some sort of voodoo, completely disconnected from reality.